Hey guys, in this video, we'll be looking at mitosis. Mitosis is a nuclear division that is part of the entire cell division. And mitosis is the nuclear division where the daughter nuclei, the two nuclei that are formed, are exactly the same as the parent nuclei. Let's explore further. Mitosis has four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And all these can be remembered by using PMUT. It's very simple and it doesn't make any sense, but it's been more than 10 years since I learned this and I still remember it. So it works. Let's look at prophase first. The first thing you will notice is of course these. These things, these X-shaped things are the chromosomes. But these chromosomes don't always look like this. Before prophase, they are in a fine thread form called chromatin. But during prophase, the first thing that happens is these chromatins start to shorten and thicken to form chromosome structures that can be seen under the microscope. Before this, they are too fine to be viewed under the microscope. And then they become the egg shape that we are so familiar with and associate with chromosomes. Remember that chromatin themselves are already chromosomes. It's just that they form this shape during prophase. And what are these chromosomes actually? These chromosomes are made up of two sister chromatids. The reason we call them sister chromatids is because there are two parts to this chromosome and they are identical. The two sides of the X shape are exactly the same. And this is produced during the S phase of interface, during DNA synthesis. DNA is replicated. So one side is replicated to form the other side and they are joined together at this. This thing in the middle, this is called the centromere. The centromere is what holds the two sister chromatids together. So what happens during prophase, other than the chromosomes becoming visible, we have the nuclear membrane disintegrates and the nucleolus disappears, as we can see in the diagram. So when you look at the diagram, this is the nuclear membrane that's breaking. It's disappearing. Because remember, at the end of the day, these two copies of chromosomes must split and they must go to two different sites to form two different nuclei. This is not possible as long as the nuclear membrane is intact. And then we have the centrioles. So the centrioles start to move to the opposite poles and the spindle fibers start to form. Centrioles are these things, these two things, and they form spindle fibers, these things, these fibrous things that are coming out of it. And that's it for prophase. Let's go to the next phase, which is metaphase. Metaphase is very easily identified. Immediately, you can see all the chromosomes are aligned. And they are aligned along this invisible line, this imaginary line, which is called the equatorial plane. This is because in the spherical cell, these centrioles first will reach what we call the poles of the cell. Centrioles arrive at opposite poles. So if these are the poles of the cell, then the part exactly in between the poles will be the equator. And therefore, we call it the equatorial plane. So what happens is the chromosomes are aligned at the equatorial plane. And then the spindle fibers are attached to the chromosomes at the centromeres, as you can see here. These spindle fibers hook onto the chromosome at the centromere. So these are the chromosomes. And then metaphase ends when the centromere begins to divide. When the part in the middle that holds the two sister chromatids together, when it starts to divide, that's when metaphase ends and we go to the next phase that is anaphase. And anaphase is very distinct as well. Immediately you can see what's going on. The centromere has already split and the two sister chromatids, these are the sister chromatids, they begin to move apart. 
So where are they going? The centromere divides into two and sister chromatids separate. This happens when the spindle fiber shortens and contracts. So earlier we understand that the spindle fibers attached to the centromere. Now when they shorten and contract, they sort of tug at it and pull it apart. And what this causes is, then the sister chromatids are pulled to the opposite poles of the cell. So that's exactly where they're going. Where the centrioles settled earlier. The centrioles are at the opposite poles and they are the ones forming the spindle fiber. So when the spindle fiber shorten and contract, then the sister chromatids are pulled towards the centrioles which are at the opposite poles of the cell. And then what happens next? So these are the poles of the cell. Anaphase will end when the sister chromatids arrive at the poles. And then what goes on is telophase. In telophase, you can see that the nucleus has completely divided. We started with one nucleus and now we have two nuclei. So we can see that the former sister chromatids are now in two different nuclei. But remember, they are identical. They are exactly the same. They were formed during DNA replication. And now each copy is in a new nucleus. And now they are no longer called sister chromatids because they are not tied together anymore. They are separate chromosomes on their own. And these are called the daughter chromosomes because they are a result of the division of the nucleus. And surrounding the daughter chromosomes, so now the first thing is that sister chromatids that arrive they are called daughter chromosomes. And what goes on next is each pole contains one complete set of chromosomes. Now you can see, since each receives one copy, each nucleus has all the four chromosomes that was present at the very beginning of cell division. Once again, remember, this is two copies of chromosomes. And therefore, we can see that mitosis actually maintains the number of chromosomes as well as the genetic content. It is exactly the same as the parent cell. There's a complete set of chromosomes in the two daughter cells that are formed. Everything that's going to happen after this is actually just the reverse of prophase. So what happens next is the chromosomes now become fine chromatin threads again. Initially, the chromatin threads condensed, they thicken and shorten to become the egg shape, but now they are going to become fine threads again. And next what happens is the nuclear membranes are formed again. So as we can see here, we have two new nuclear membranes. And also in prophase, the nucleolus disappeared. Now two nucleoli are going to reappear. And then the spindle fibers which were formed in the prophase are now going to disappear. And finally, telophase is followed by cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. But that's for another video. If I've done that, then I'll leave the link to that in the description below. That's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something. If you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Really does help a lot. Thank you very much for doing that. I'll see you guys in the next one.